So today we're gonna to be testing out a new live streaming software called Melon. So I'm gonna bring you guys over to my computer and I'm going to show you what this software is, how it works, what I think of it. I've got Summer here in the office with me today and she's gonna be helping me test out the guest feature because I want to be able to stream live with a guest. I have a way I have been doing it that's been way too complicated. So I'm excited about Melon potentially being a really easy solution and I'm gonna be giving you you guys the lowdown on exactly how well it works and what I think of it. So the first thing that I noticed is just when I went to melonapp.com, immediately it just takes me straight to the live streaming window. I don't have to navigate to the place that I need to go live from at all. It's just like, this is the site. Um, now keep in mind that I did already create my account. So when you first go to melonapp.com, you will see the Melon App website and you can create your account. Um, and something I didn't mention yet, but Melon App actually is free. They also have some paid plans that give you the ability to add more users and things like that. But um, the basic account is free. So anyway, so I've created my account and now when I go to melonapp.com, it just immediately shows me the live streaming platform. Okay, so I've just been clicking through these different settings and it looks like there are a lot of great options for controlling, especially the appearance of your stream. So in design, you can change the fonts, you can change the colors of the fonts and the colors of the background, the colors of the, the little banner here, and the uh, you can have this ticker on the bottom. So if you have the ticker on, then you can change the color of that. And then you can also add like a background for your stream. So if you switch the view here, then you could have the background be a different color or picture or something like that. I think that I'll go with this color for now and just leave it like that. And then you could also add these different overlays which maybe you want and maybe you don't, but you can also upload your own overlay to give your stream whatever appearance you want it to have. And then there's also these themes where you can kind of like automatically make everything coordinating colors um, without having to configure all the settings, which seems pretty convenient. Um, and then here under a logo, you can either turn the Melon logo on or off. I think most people would probably want it off. And then you could have this banner right here be there or not be there. And then you can turn the ticker on and you can make the ticker say whatever you want it to say and be whatever color you want it to be. And under video, you could add an additional video into your live stream. So for example, like an intro video, and then they have these automatic like 30 second countdown timers that are in there that you can add. And then if you're using a green screen, you could turn on this green screen feature. I'm not doing that right now, so I'm not going to use it. Um, and then under settings, you can turn on um, having full HD quality, recording your stream, showing your participants' names or not, um, and a few other options there. So overall, it seems super easy to use, very user-friendly. And so now what we're going to try to do is to bring a guest into the stream. So I'm gonna share the guest link with Summer. So let's see, I'm gonna click up here next to invite guest. It looks like you can just click this little button to copy it and I'll send it to Summer and we'll see how this works. Okay, so I see Summer's video just popped up right here immediately. It seems a tiny bit strange is just that my guest showed up first here. So like, I don't know, I, I'm seeing this tiny, what are you seeing Summer? You're seeing me full screen. So she's watching me full screen just like if I was live, even though I'm not live yet, but She's just right here. So as soon as I click show stream, oh, there now there she is. So now I have Summer here with me as my guest. So the first thing I notice is just that overall this looks pretty nice. Like we have this colored line here through the middle um, and I, like it just seems like it easily looked nice. Um, much better than a Zoom call or something like that. We did have a little bit of trouble with the audio at first and I realized it was because I had the wrong audio output selected, but once we got that figured out so that it was actually coming through my headphones and not trying to come through my microphone, um, now it's working just fine. So I'm just gonna play around here a little bit with kind of the appearance so we can like switch to this or this or that. <laughs> <laughs> or back to this. So you've got some different options. You'd probably mostly like just toggle between these two things. And of course you can make this background look like whatever you want. So you could make it be a branded something. You could have your logo on here and just upload your image. So that all seems great. And it was super easy for Summer to join. Summer, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to hear you through the live stream. So do you want to tell them like how easy or difficult it was for you to join or what you had to do to join? 
Yeah, so actually originally I did try on my MacBook, but it wasn't compatible with Safari. So you want to make sure that you have Google Chrome. Um, but if you have Google Chrome, it was super easy. I got the link, I just clicked the link and it immediately brought me to this window. Okay, so overall it was pretty easy for Zimmer to join. All she had to do was click a link, although we did notice that you do have to be using Chrome browser for it to work or else, yeah, you just can't connect. So that's definitely something to be aware of. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to do an experimental live stream into a test group that we have um, and just see how easy that is. So I see here that we do have the option to record only if you just wanna record a video, which seems like a pretty good option. So I went ahead and connected my Facebook account, which was really easy. It automatically signed me into Facebook because I have that set up for my browser already. And once I was signed into the Facebook account, I just had to click a series of permissions saying that Melon is allowed to post on my account. And now that that has happened, now I have a whole list of all of the different pages and groups that I control. And I can just choose exactly which one I want to stream into, which is incredibly easy because that means you don't need a stream key or anything like that. Okay, and then I did have to go in and add the Melon app as an app in my Facebook group, which I didn't know was even a thing, but it was very easy to do and Melon prompted me to take care of that. So now it looks like I am good to stream in that group and so I'm just gonna hit next. Oh, and it wants me to, I guess, check it like that, okay. There we go, so now I can type in a test for the stream and then we'll try going live. We have to have a description, okay. So now that that's set up, let's try again. Go live. Do you see a countdown? You don't see a countdown. Okay, count it down for me. Oh. We're live. How does it feel to be live, Summer? Feels good. <laughs> We're streaming into a Facebook group that we used to use and it's now shut down so it doesn't have any members in it. but. Um, let's go ahead and go check the group and see if we can find this live stream in the group. Oh, look, there we are. We are. I, I see us live in the group, Summer. It's true. We, we are wow. really live. <laughs> we look great. And also, there's kind of a lot less to go wrong now that we are streaming because I didn't have to like connect different softwares together. It's not just sharing my whole screen. And because Melon is controlling the, stre the stream, I don't have to make sure that I have the right thing up on my computer the whole time. So that seems really handy. Um, whenever I want to hide my guest, I can just click that and I can hide that, hide myself. So I can really control very easily exactly what is being shared. So whenever I'm ready to end the stream, I can just hit this end stream button and that will make my live stream stop. It was great. <laughs> okay, and I can share it if I want to share it. And then whenever I'm ready to say goodbye to Summer, who by the way, Summer didn't immediately disappear when I stopped being live. So that's nice because sometimes I want to talk to my guests for a few more minutes. Um, and then whenever Summer wants to leave, I'm assuming Summer that you have some sort of leave button. Yes, it shows leave broadcast. Okay, so you can hit that. Well, overall, I feel like that was extremely easy. Um, it took, you know, a few minutes of figuring out, but after just a few minutes, once we had everything properly configured, then it seems like now in the future when I go live with Melon, it will literally take me just a few seconds to do so. Since I did mention the cost of Melon, I did want to show you guys this. Um, it shows the different pricing plans. So there is this free forever plan that allows you to have up to two participants. Um, and it does have a watermark on it. And then for $15 a month, you can have up to six participants and no watermark plus unlimited streaming. Um, let's see, it says there are some streaming limits here. You can stream for up to four hours on the free plan. Probably it looks like four hours per month since this is a price per month. And then for $49 per month, you can have up to nine participants and you can, it looks like, record up to 10 hours, I'm guessing, into their cloud. And so a lot more features there. But for even just for their free plan, you can definitely get started streaming and that looks like a great option if you want to try it out. So overall, it seems like the Melon app is really easy to use and creates a nice looking result without having to fuss with a lot of design or a lot of different systems or software. It's way easier than what I have been using. I 
I've been using this hobbled together system with OBS, which I love OBS and it's great for a lot of things, but it definitely has been making my weekly live stream a lot more complicated than I would like it to be, and I've had tech issues galore with it. So I'm looking forward to using Melon for my live streams because it's just going to really cut out a lot of the hassle and give me just a much less stressful live streams so I can focus on the guests that I have. So I also want to say a big thank you to Melon for reaching out to share with me. I had no idea it exists until they sent me an email. So thank you to Melon for sponsoring today's video and I'm glad that I got to share the software with you guys too because if you want to feature a guest in a video for YouTube or for Facebook on a live stream then this seems like a great option. So that's everything for today's video. Of course there will be links links below if you want to check out Melon for yourself and sign up for their free plan. And to wrap this all up, if you are new here and you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel and build your own business online, then start now by subscribing to the channel. It's free and it'll make sure you don't miss anything.